Hi, I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director here at TriStar Plastics, and welcome to another Tech Talk. Today is another one of our Quadrant uh, Talks, and uh, specifically we're going to be talking about Tyvar and uh, a new product in the Tyvar family called HOT, which stands for High Operating Temperatures. Now, if you remember from some of our other uh, discussions, we've always used this triangle to give you an idea of where materials fall in the hierarchy of, pl of, of plastics. And you can see here from this slide that uh, UHMW, which is what Tybar is, uh, is one of those borderline materials that sits right on the uh, 200 degree Fahrenheit uh, line. And it's, um, even though it's rated as a, as a polyethylene, which is a commodity plastic, uh, it does have so many engineering qualities that it's uh, really more of an engineering plastic in function. And where the tie bar hot comes into play is uh, we now have a UHMW material that uh, works at a much higher operating temperature, uh, 275, 285 continuous, as opposed to the 180 to 200 of normal UHMW. So uh, let's take a look first at, at tie bar in general. Now tie bar has been around for a long time. Um, many, many years ago it was under the poly high a standard, uh, then poly high solider, and several years ago, uh, Quadrant purchased poly high and the entire Tybar family. Um, Tybar is, as I said, all UHMW polyethylene. And for those of you who don't know, uh, UHMW stands for ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. Uh, there are several categories of polyethylene low density, medium density, high density, very high density and a lot of little things in between, uh, but UHMW, ultra-high molecular weight, is the top of the heap when it comes to the polyethylenes. Now what qualifies or categorizes UHMW is by that molecular weight number, um, and uh, UHMW is generally uh, rated between 3.5 to 5 million on the molecular weight scale. And what that translates to is uh, a lot of the function, the abrasion resistance, the low friction properties, the uh, chemical resistance, um, the numbers are relative to what that molecular weight is. So the higher the number, uh, the better some of the properties are. Um, but there's also a trade-off in terms of uh, physical properties versus abrasive properties. And so we look at, at the UHMW primarily as a 3.5 to 4 million molecular weight uh, with the exception being the higher 5 million number. Now, Tybar comes in a lot of different grades. Um, there are a lot of different fillers that are used to enhance the properties. There are ceramic fillers, uh, molly fillers, uh, glass beads, uh, oils. A lot of different things can be added to UHMW to improve the friction properties, the uh, dry slide applications, um, uh, FDA applications where you need uh, even better lubricity in food applications. Um, there are repro materials, there are dimensionally stable materials, so Tybar is a very, very broad product line. Um, now, UHMW uh, in, in all forms has some pretty interesting properties. As I mentioned, uh, superior wear resistance, that's number one. Uh, if you look at UHMW on the scale of polymers and other materials, including metals, uh, UHMW has the best abrasive wear resistance, even over steel, aluminum. Um, many of the metals are far above in terms of wear compared to UHMW. Um, all the UHMWs have exceptional chemical resistance. Being part of the olefin family, um, they have many, many properties very similar to Teflon. Not completely inert, but uh, uh, there are, are very good chemical compatibilities with UHMW and all the polyolefins. Um, the coefficient of friction of UHMW is inherently very low, and by putting some of these other additives in, like they do with the Tyvar product line, you can increase or decrease the friction even further. Uh, UHMW meets the FDA and USD guidelines for compliancy, and it also meets 3A compliancy. 
And then finally, it has very, very good impact strength. UHMW is one of those unique materials that you can stand around and beat it all day with chain, with hammers, with uh, uh, anything and everything that you want to uh, just brutalize it. And UHMW holds up very well. It has very good resistance to cracking uh, other under impact. So <clears throat> let's talk now about uh, the main topic, which is the Tybar HOT. Uh, Tybar HO2, again, at HOT, again, stands for high operating temperatures. In this case, uh, we're talking about a continuous operating temperature of nominally 275 degrees Fahrenheit as compared to normal UHMWs of 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the HOT material has the same resistance as far as wear and abrasive conditions. Uh, has the same type of chemical resistance as the normal UHMWs. Um, a lot of the new clean-down solutions that are being used in the food and pharmaceutical industry uh, are, are pretty, pretty uh, abusive when it comes to some of the polymers. Um, Tybar Hot, even in hot temperatures, uh, will still hold up very well even in these uh, cleaning solutions. Um, as I mentioned before, UHMWs meet the FDA and 3A and USDA guidelines, same for the Tybar HO2, HOT. Um, you don't lose anything in terms of impact strength going to the HOT material. And then finally, um, we still maintain our self-lubricating ca characteristics as well as the low friction. Now looking at some, some applications, um, this first one is kind of unique. Um, not something that you would typically consider UHMW for, but uh, several years ago, TriStar was involved with a company that does a lot of work in the downhole uh, industry, specifically drilling for oil. Um, and we had been supplying them for many years with some special materials for slide pads that are used on drill string collars. And um, this collar had to withstand a lot of interesting conditions. Um, you never know quite what you're going to run into downhole. Um, so there were things like hydrogen sulfates, there was things like uh, uh, drilling mud with all kinds of chemicals in it. Um, the, the drilling conditions in general were unknown because of the, uh, the pipe conditions, um, the distance down a hole, we never knew quite where our temperatures were. Um, but the bottom line was we learned enough from that first uh, application where when the Tybar HOT came along, we found an opportunity to save the customer a considerable amount of money by going to an extrusion. And so the pictures that you see here are of parts that are actually extruded Tybar HOT, which are then cut to size for the customer to actually um, attach to these, uh, these collars. Um, the advantage that this offers is that we get that really fantastic abrasion resistance and with downhole drill mud it's very abrasive so uh, the Tiber HO2 offered that um, very po very positive uh, option. Uh, we also had the high temperature capability uh, we knew that the HOT was going to withstand the temperatures because the surrounding material in these collars only went to about 250 so that was good um, the media, as I said, is very abrasive, and then because this is on the new um, quote-unquote steerable drilling systems where you can literally steer the drill head around the geology to get to the uh, reservoir, um, it was very important that these slide pads had very low friction. So that was um, um, uh, obviously another positive uh, part of this application. So. Um, unique in that, uh, is, again, this material can be extruded into profiles. Um, some of the other applications are uh, profile extrusions that are used in things like baking, baking ovens, uh, spiral ovens and things like that that are used in the food industry. Um, another great application for the Tybar HOT, HOT is in scrapers. Um, we have a particular application where the customer has been using a standard UHMW, a straight virgin UHMW, um, as a scraper blade. 
and it's running against stainless steel, but it was pushing the standard UHMW temperature by about 20 degrees. So as a result, the customer was experiencing fairly rapid replacement of the material because it would very quickly start to craze and crack and uh, start to lose its effectiveness. So by switching to the Tybar HOT, um, we were still able to maintain that FDA uh, clearance. We were able to uh, maintain a good strong material in terms of a scraping material. It's uh, got the abrasion resistance we need for this particular product, which was tomato paste. Um, the clean down solutions were not going to affect the material. Um, and this material even exceeds some of the other typical scraper blade options that customers will use, which would be things like acetals, like a Delrin. Um, some of the cast nylons are used in this application, uh, even polyesters. Um, like the Ertolites and uh, Hydex and things like that. Um, those materials don't do as well in some of the new caustic clean downs. The, the sodium hydroxides will attack, uh, especially acetyl and, and polyester. So uh, the Tybar HOT was a very, very good option uh, for this particular customer and um, has saved them considerable amount of money in terms of uh, replacement. Now, uh, another particular application that's uh, very similar to that in terms of the blade is in the candy manufacturing. Um, sugar is very abrasive. Um, so when you've got a sugar product like candy, um, you obviously need something that's going to be able to stand up to that. In fact, sugar and dehydrated milk are uh, two of the more abrasive food products out there. So uh, in, in this particular application we found that the uh, scraper material did very well um, in the candy production process where that uh, sugar was hot, sticky, uh, and very abrasive. So um, any places where you have uh, not only the, the temperature but abrasive environments the clean down solutions um, are all places where the Tyvar HOT can be used. And the, the fact that we've got the additional temperature range uh, just makes this a superior material when it comes to the bakery industry, the food packaging and processing industry. Um, I mentioned before special extrusions that could be used on spiral um, baking ovens. Uh, same thing for things like uh, uh, gaskets um, on blanching machines. Um, so really, any place where wear, friction, clean down, uh, these are excellent applications for the Tybar HOT. Now, uh, where do we use the Tybar HOT? Where temperatures exceed the capacity of some of the more common engineering polymers. Again, we've got here a uh, engineering grade material with excellent properties that is able to withstand temperatures higher than nylons, uh, acetal, uh, like the Delrins, um, polyesters, and so it's a, a very nice uh, what we call tweener material. It's in between the more expensive materials like PPS um, and some of the standard engineering grades. Um, if you need FDA, USDA, or 3A compliancy, Tybar HOT meets those standards. Where chemical resistance is a plus. Obviously with the polyolefins you get very good chemical resistance to a very broad spectrum of uh, the pH scale. Uh, where low friction self lube is required. Again, UHMW has very low inherent coefficient of friction. Um, it's very similar, in fact, to PTFE, so you don't lose anything at all by, uh, by going to something like UHMW. Um, if the media is abrasive, you know, again, looking at the sugar side of the food processing world, um, dry milk powder, uh, tomato products where it's highly acidic, uh, in fact, a lot of the vegetables that we uh, 
would look at in terms of uh, plastics are highly acidic. Um, the Tybar HOT does very well in that environment. Um, where you're concerned about compa compatibility with stainless or other soft materials like aluminum, uh, the Tybar HOT is very kind to those softer mating materials. And then where extended life is, is desirable, if you are currently using UHMW and maybe you're right at that temperature borderline, uh, the Tyvar HOT has proven to outlast standard UHMW up to 10 times longer. So by making a simple change, uh, staying in the same family, maintaining all those good properties of UHMW, but just... Uh, extending your life by a considerable amount by making this simple change to the Tyvar HOT. Um, in terms of availability, the uh, Tyvar HOT comes in sheet stock and rod stock, and as I mentioned before, we can also do it in uh, special profile extrusions if the quantities are justified. Um, at TriStar, of course, we also do machining, and so we can machine uh, finished parts. Um, in terms of milled profiles, we can also do uh, um, small milled parts like the scraper blades, uh, bushings. Um, that's another application where this is a very, very fine material if you're looking at, uh, again, that tweener application where you've got temperatures in the 200 to 275, 285 degree range where there's really not a lot of materials that you can select from. The Tiber HOT is a very good candidate for that uh, particular re region. Um, so, um, again, this is a, a, a great product from Quadrant. It's something that we uh, are very fond of here at TriStar. We've done a lot of work with it. And so, as you consider, especially in the food and pharmaceutical world, as you consider materials where you're pushing that temperature envelope, but you've got uh, a need for all of those other uh, highly valuable properties of UHMW, uh, consider Tybar HOT. It's really a fine material and uh, we look forward to an opportunity to talk to you more about it. If you have any questions about the HOT material, please feel free to visit our website, uh, send us a message uh, through the Ask the Expert, check our blog. We do have some blog entries on the Tybar HOT and uh, feel free to respond at any time. Uh, via the blog. Um, so thanks again for joining us and we look forward to uh, seeing you on another Tech Talk.